a couple of friends of mine adopted a child who had, had severe fetal alcohol syndrome. This child was born three and a half months prematurely, couldn't move his arms and legs, just was this little, tiny, helpless baby, and so had severe facial dysmorphology, the face was all distorted, and the prognosis was a 20 to 40 IQ and lifelong institutionalization. They got permission from the judge to take the baby home and care for it, and later they took custody of the child. The child was being held every day when they ran energy with quantum touch. When the child became old enough that the child could cry for food, my friend picked up the child in his hands and he ran energy into this little boy and he stopped crying. And he very quietly, patiently waited for the food because he had his touch needs met. The touch needs were more important than the food. We always thought they were crying for food, but the first thing they cried for was the touch. And by running the energy, he got his touch needs met and could patiently wait. Then as he got older and started getting his vaccinations, my friend would run energy into the child while the vaccinations were beginning, and he never cried. Well, one day when he was about a year, old, about a year and a half or two years old, uh, the nurse said, well, this child doesn't seem to have any nerves. He doesn't feel any pain. And Terry was curious. So in the third vaccination, he didn't have his hand on the child. And he sees the child's face starting to turn red and his eyes crinkling up like he's about to have that big cry. And he puts his hand on and starts running the energy. And then instead of the child crying, he goes, ah. <laughs> as the child got older, he tested as having average intelligence. When he got even older than that, he started having above average intelligence. Then one day, when he was about four and a half years old, and sort of the leader of the nursery school that he went to, all the kids loved him, took up drumming, had a lot of fun. He was leaping from couch to couch, and he had banged his head on part of the couch. So Terry's sitting there, running energy into the boy's head, it's the, the father's name, and he's running energy in the head, and the child looks at him and says, that feels good. And he says, well, it's supposed to feel good. The child started looking at his hands, moving his hands back and forth with wide eyes. And he said, what do you see? The child said, I see light. He says, that's right, that's the energy. He says, what does it look like? Looks like flashlights. That's right. Later, his mom tested him with a test that I'm going to describe to you a little later on this uh, video about being able to see energy, and he passed it perfectly. He could see all the colors that I'll t explain to you. So this child grew up, became, is still growing up, healthy, average height, average weight, no facial dysmorphology, above average intelligence, but he's also the leader, and all these children love him and enjoy him. He's having a great life. 